There's new information about the final moments of a doomed jetliner over the Mediterranean last week. Egyptian authorities are now refuting earlier data that seemed to show the Egypt Air jet swerved and made a rapid descent before vanishing from radar. Five days later, however, the answers to this crash are frustratingly still lying somewhere on the bottom of the sea. NBC's Tom Costello has the latest developments. Tonight, as a multinational effort to find Flight 804 continues in the Mediterranean Sea, Egyptian authorities are contradicting Greek military reports about the plane's final moments, insisting the plane never made erratic turns or descended dramatically, that it remained on course at 37,000 feet until going off radar. Meanwhile, U.S. Navy P-3 planes have now found two debris fields of wreckage and passenger clothing. The water, it's a big space, and finding small things in the water is, uh, is extremely difficult. Egypt's civil aviation minister telling NBC's Bill Neely there is no sign of the plane. We're far away from closing on and, uh, on the fuselage of the aircraft. Five days since it went missing, still no indication what caused the crash. If it were a bomb, experts would not expect the plane to fly another seven minutes before going off radar. If it were an electrical fire, they'd expect the plane to fly even longer, perhaps a more gradual descent. We do not rule out something nefarious. Um, but we just don't know yet. The last automated computer messages from the plane included overheat and smoke warnings, then flight computer failures. That puts the focus on the forward avionics bay where one of the smoke warnings originated. It sits directly under the cockpit, housing all of the computers that run the plane. Experts say a fire here could take out critical flight control systems or cause the computers to send faulty signals for systems that aren't failing. We do not know right now whether there was an explosion, whether there was a structural problem, whether there was a mechanical problem, an electrical problem. Meanwhile, an urgent search for the plane's black boxes thought to be amid the wreckage on the seafloor, likely in the deepest part of the med, 10,000 feet down, with a muddy, silty bottom that has swallowed up shipwrecks for thousands of years, the search area the size of Connecticut. And the clock is ticking on finding the black boxes because the pingers on the black boxes, which are right here, have only 25 days of battery life before they cut off. But the headline at this hour is that the plane may not have made any erratic turns or drops as previously reported by the Greek military. Lester? All right, Tom Costello. Tom